Got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, and it's mad at black, got the boosters black and mad. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, and it's mad at black, got the boosters black and mad. Hey guys, I'm Timothy from Cinema Content, and welcome to another tutorial! <laughs> Today we will take a look at how sound editing could improve your fan edits and get rid of all that really irritating background noise that's going on in the movie files so you can really get that clear audio for your edits and just make your edit. So the software that I'm using for my editing is Adobe Premiere Pro and we're gonna go a little bit into Adobe Audition but I'll get more into that later so let's just stick with Premiere Pro for now so we can just put our headphones on and get right into the editing. So I've just put together a small compilation of clips here from uh, Marvel movies. Only thing I have more than these audio tracks is the music and I will be using Old Town Road as an example because Old Town Road is a pretty hard song to do sound editing to because it has such a, a low frequency throughout the song so it's really easy to hear background noise in your clips so that's why I'm gonna be using that song today uh, but let's go right ahead and listen to the clips without the music first and then with the music put on <laughs> So those clips are the ones we're gonna use today and as you heard there was quite a lot of background noise going on and even when we have put the music on you can still hear most of the background noise going on so let's go right ahead and listen to it with the music now. And of course if you want your edit to sound good you should be doing a lot of sync with the music and the punches so that's what I will be going for today most of the time. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, and it's mad at black, got the boosters black and match, riding on a horse, ha. So the first thing we need to do is make the song audio lower. So as you can see here to your bottom right is the, the audio meter, so it counts all the decibels uh, that your video will be producing. So. What you need to see here is that the decibel meter can't go over zero. It has to be down on a negative number because if it goes over zero, a lot of the audio will be lost. So the audio quality will actually be worse if it goes over zero. And as you can see, when it goes over zero, it will turn red up here. So we're just gonna go ahead and lower the files until it's not red anymore. So I'm gonna go down here, go to the audio file, and we can do right click and go to audio gain. Or we could also click on the audio file and type G as shortcut and we will get the audio gain immediately. And I think we will go, we will try minus seven, maybe that works. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, and it's mad at black, got the horses black and match, riding on a horse, ha, you can- Yeah, so the audio is still terrible, but, um, at least now the audio meter isn't going above zero, so the audio quality is technically still there, so we're not losing any audio quality. So my first tip on getting rid of the background noise is through something called center channel isolation. So you can find the movies online in 5.1 surround sound and what that will do is basically all the music will go into the right and left channels and the dialogue and sound effects will go into the center channel. So what that'll do when we put 5.1 audio files into Premiere Pro, we can actually turn off all the audio channels in the clip except for the center channel. So what I've done now is downloaded every single Marvel movie in surround sound. And what I can do now when I'm going into 
the audio clips is I can find this I can take this first clip and I can do right click I'm going to audio channels and as you can see here we have left right center channel low frequency rear left and rear right what we can do here is we can turn off every single one except the center channel so if we just disable all the other tracks except for the center channel we can actually get a lot more clear audio without the same background noise and this is the absolute best way to dealing with background noise and I will show a lot of other stuff too but this is the main reason why most editors have so clear audio when doing fan edits like I do um, so we're just gonna go right ahead and do this on all the clips and now you're probably wondering like oh okay how can I get all the movies in surround sound is that hard to find where do I find it and etc so if you want to get these movies with surround sound you can go to my discord server and you can ask for help there either me or some other editor can help you out and help you get these movies in surround sound so my discord server is available in the description of basically all my videos but yeah so what you can do here when you want to isolate the center channel you obviously don't want to go into every single clip you have and disable all the tracks you can go to your movies so here I have all the MCU movies so you right click and you go up to modify and then you go directly to audio channels and I have this enabled on all my movies so I can just whenever I drag a clip in it already have the center channel isolation on and that way I don't have to spend as much time getting the audio correct and that's very easy for the editing time so now when we've put audio isolation on all these clips we can go right ahead and listen to if it actually made a difference to our sound editing I got the horses in the back horse stock is attached head is mighty black got the horses black and match riding on a horse ha. Yeah. so already we have a lot less background noise going on but we still have to fix up some, some of it so what I like to use on my clips is a tool called constant gain and as you can see here I will drag that onto every audio file so I will drag this down and have it both in the beginning and the end of the clip and I will do that to all the other clips so, there we go now we have a smooth fade on every single audio file and what we're gonna do now is go ahead and listen to every audio file separately and find where the key audio is so if it's a punch if it's a dialogue or an explosion or something like that we will find that in the audio and we will trim the audio file so we only get that audio that we're looking for so we don't get this unnecessary background noise so on this first clip of spider-man here we can go ahead and click solo track and that's so we can listen to just that audio file and that we won't get any music in the background so we can easily hear what's background noise and what's just the audio that we're looking for so let's go right ahead and do that <laughs> Okay, so in this first clip I think the most background noise is in the end of the clip so if we extend this we should probably hear more background noise yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and see where the explosion happens and then make the clip just a little bit longer of that explosion and then fade it out as quickly as possible so we only get the explosion and nothing more so go ahead so just after that, so we'll go ahead and trim it to like here I think, because then the explosion happens and right after the explosion we fade out the audio. So let's see here, yeah okay. So there is a little background noise but it's so hard to hear now when we fade it out so fast so as you can hear again. You can almost not tell what's the background noise and what's the explosion and that's the key trick to trimming it right to only get background noise while uh, a bigger audio file is playing so you can't really hear what's the background noise and what's just the audio that we're looking for 
let's move on to the next audio file and we'll do the same thing and do this okay, a little bit longer maybe okay and now we have this longer clip here which you can hear has some background noise too left in the center channel okay so what you can do here is because we have three different hits you can either go on to you see the if you double click the audio layer and get it wider you can actually see the audio gain here too so you can change the audio gain with this white line um, and you can change it over time by first pressing P to get up the pen tool and then you can mark out where the hits are and then make the audio higher at the hits and make it lower at where there's no hits and where you only hear background noise and here and here and then make this one lower uh, I forgot to mention this you press P to get the pen tool and you press V to get back to the normal cursor um, um, I don't know if you can actually see my cursor here now I'm sorry I will try to figure this out on how to see the, the cursor in my recording software but uh, as for now you can see that I I'm lowering the the audio file here so it now sounds like this okay um, and that's one way to go for it uh, I will go back to the beginning what I like to do often is unlink the audio file with the actual clip and then cut out those parts that has the hits that I'm looking for and then I can position them as I want so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click right click and go to unlink and what you can see now is that when I click on something the audio is not connected to the clip anymore and the clip isn't connected to the audio file anymore so I'm gonna go here and see where the hits are again And you can cut the audio exactly as you prefer, but I prefer this way because then if I were to say sync up all three punches with the beat, I can go in individually and change every hit with like some frames uh, forward or some frames backwards so I can really sync that up with the beat. If I put them more close to each other, let's say if I do this, if I move them closer to each other they won't sync up with the clip anymore so if we're gonna go right ahead and see here as you can see it's not in sync anymore but maybe that's what you're going for because your music is more high paced than the clip you're using and then you have to make these audio files sync up with the music and so what I like to do is just make the clip going faster so I just right click and go to speed and duration and let's say we're going for 120%, maybe that works. So we're gonna see now. So you could do that if you want, and that's one of the key features to doing it in the way that I'm separating all the audio files. So let's listen again to what we have so far. I got the horses in the back. So you can still hear a little bit of noise in the first clip, I think. Yeah. If it isn't enough with the center channel isolation and the audio trimming, and it doesn't work with, for example, making the audio gain lower or higher, I would try to replace the whole audio file. So I have done that a lot in my edits, I have done it a lot in my Seven Nation Army video and in my In The End videos. Um, I've replaced a lot of the audio files because they were not as clear as I wanted them to be. So I either took another audio file from another part of the same movie 
or the same character so in this case when we're going with Captain America I could just take any other part of Captain America movies where he uses his shield and I could I'm pretty sure I can get a pretty good sound of his shield uh, bashing someone um, but if that doesn't work you can just download a sound effect and it will work just as well so I'm gonna go ahead here and listen again how does this sound bash sound like okay uh, I'm just gonna do a quick search in the Captain America movies and see if I can find anything that's close to that sound okay so there I think we have a audio file here yeah, I think that sounds a lot better than the first audio file that we were using. If you, for some reason, can't use the clips with surround sound, uh, you can be much more detailed with the audio gain and making the audio files lower or higher or just making them really perfect. So, uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now because this is just an example and very often I don't have to be as detailed with the audio gain anymore now when I have the surround sound and I can just do the center channel isolation thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish all these all these clips and all the audio files and see if we can hear before and after when I'm done with everything Okay, so there we go. I think I am happy with this sequence. Doctor Strange audio file had a really lot of background noise, so I had to replace it with several other uh, Doctor Strange uh, sparkly thing sound effects. And the, the last one here with Captain America and Bucky, uh, I didn't really have to do anything because it worked so well with the whole center channel isolation. So I think we're I think I'm happy with the whole sequence now. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, head is mad at black, got the bushes black and match, riding on a horse. Yeah, so at least for me this is a lot better than what we started off with and I am really happy with the results and maybe not all the clips because this is just an example but uh, you, you get the whole concept of how I'm editing my audio files. But I'm actually gonna show you another thing, because uh, as I said in the beginning, we're gonna do a little thing in Adobe Audition, and it's an audio editing software just like Premiere is a video editing software. So it's an effect there that I will show you that kinda degenerates all the background noise and try to keep as much vocals in as possible. So it doesn't work for sound effects but it works for uh, dialogue so for this example I'm gonna use in the end as my song and I'm gonna use the Infinity War teaser trailer as dialogue and show really how much of a difference it can make with just this uh, tool that I'm using in Adobe Audition so let's have a listen to what it sounds before I've done anything on this and then we're gonna work a little bit on it and then we will see the end results so let's go right ahead there was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more So yeah, that was quite unpleasant with having both the uh, in the end piano sound and having the teaser trailer for Infinity War piano sound. So that just doesn't work together and we need to get rid of the background noise. So what we could do is just trim it so we only hear where the dialogue is happening but I've tried to do that and it doesn't work because the music is so high anyways. So what we need to do, if you have Adobe Audition, um, you can go right click 
and then go to edit clip in audition and if everything works as it should you should have the same file open in adobe audition and i'm just gonna say this is the only effect i know in adobe audition i haven't used it all very much so don't blame me if some of you actually know adobe audition and you say like whoa timothy you have a lot of effects that you're missing out on here so if if I'm being a dumbass, I don't know uh, really what I'm doing, please let me know in the comments uh, on, on how to use Adobe Audition better. So here you have the clip and we can listen to it separately before we have done anything. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. Yeah, so this is the audio before we've done anything and what you need to do is you need to go up to effects and you need to go down to stereo, stereo imagery and go to center channel extractor. Uh, and For some reason uh, my 5.1 audio files doesn't work with this effect so I'm only using this effect on my stereo files so now when I'm using the audio from the Infinity War trailer. I don't have that in surround sound. I only have that in stereo with two channels. So That's why I'm using uh, this on this clip um, And as you can see here you can change some things so you can change how low basically you want the background noise to go so if you want to Remove all the background noise you can go all the way down here, but remember that you might lose some quality of the dialogue and the vocals as well so it really depends on what audio file you're going for and what you're using but this should uh, delete most of the background noise it might sound a little weird I mean it will sound a little weird but it won't be really noticeable when we've put the the in the end music over it so it, this just lowers all the background noise and it kind of sounds pretty wobbly in the beginning, but um, that doesn't really, that isn't noticeable when we have the uh, the music on later. So we're just gonna go right ahead. I think I'm gonna keep it on like 35 minus, yeah, minus 35 here. If you're having a clip with only a man talking, you can go to frequency range and and select male voice to make the sound. Uh, be more adjustable and works better for male voices or the same with female voices or bass or whatever you're choosing but as we have uh, a lot of dialogue going on with both both uh, males and females I'm just gonna go with full spectrum and I'm gonna click apply so now we will have a listen to what it sounds like uh, with this effect on there was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. And in my opinion, that works very well. And I'm very surprised that this tool actually is existing in Adobe Audition and this helps out a lot and it helped me out before I before I knew about this whole thing with uh, downloading it in surround sound and everything. So this was like my go-to tool for uh, deleting the background noise and this is really helpful when doing stuff like I do. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna go, when I'm done with this and I'm, I have just applied this effect, if you want to do other effects you can do that as well, but as I said I don't know much about Adobe Audition so <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna go up to file export here then I'm just gonna choose where I want this audio file to be exported to and I'm gonna go and I have in my movie mashups file here for Marvel and DC I have an own folder just called audition and as you can see here I have a lot of these audio files that I've done this effect on so we can go ahead and make this uh, infinity war 
teaser trailer dialog and go and click save and then go to OK. And this will export pretty quickly and you go back into Premiere and you can go to your folder, find that audio file that you just added. Um, so I think this is the one. Yep, that should be it. Uh, and I'm gonna go to my audition uh, folder in Premiere, drag it over and see here. There we go. Place it just at the same time as the original one. I'm gonna delete the other one like that. And then here. There was an idea. It's Okay, so you can still hear a little bit of background noise in the beginning, so I'm just gonna go right ahead and do what I did earlier with trimming all the audio files and making sure that it's only... that we only hear what the dialogue is saying and not any other background noise. There was an idea. It starts with yeah, so that works pretty well, except for one thing that we can hear some low frequencies like wobbling around and depending on uh, how you're viewing this video if you have headphones or speakers like I often use um, or if you're just on your phone you might be you might not be able to hear those uh, low frequency wobbling that I'm talking about but if you have headphones or speakers while you listen to this I recommend that uh, you can hear the wobbling here I'm just gonna play it again there was an idea it's see it sounds pretty weird it's just something is off with the with the audio file so one thing to fix this is you can go and add an effect called high pass and what that does is basically it filters out the low frequencies so you can put that on the audio file and you can choose where you want it to cut off the frequencies and I often go with like 100 Hertz or 200 but I think a hundred works right now so I'm gonna listen again there was an idea it's pretty good I'm gonna go up to 200 see if that works there was an idea hmm. okay now if you go too high with the high pass filter it it will take out all the bass tones so let's say if I go to 2000 uh, you can actually see what effect it will do and it will just sound very unnatural so I'm just gonna go ahead and play it for you here there was an idea. okay so you can you can barely hear what he's saying right now but you with a high pass filter you kind of get this like uh, this radio effect so I often use that in my videos where I like um, when I play things on my headphones, if I make a short film, I play stuff in my headphones and when I take it off, I have my high pass filter. So it could basically look like this. So you get the idea of how the high pass filter works and what you can be using it for. And you can be real creative with that and you can do the same effect with a low pass filter where you kind of get that underwater effect but for this time we're gonna use uh, just a little bit of high pass filter to get out the weird uh, low frequencies so I think 150 Hertz would be okay there was an idea it's... yeah I think we're I think we're gonna go with that and of course this is not as good as if we had the audio file without the background noise because you kind of loses a lot of audio quality in the clip itself when you're using the audition thing that I showed you with the center channel extractor where it like uh, automatically degenerates the background noise so you kind of lose some of the audio quality there so I I really recommend using the surround sound and downloading the whole movies in surround sound and just using the center channel because and that way you don't lose as much audio quality as you do here. But with something that from the beginning sounded really impossible to make something out of. Example, the teaser trailer for Infinite War. You can actually get something that works pretty well. So that's just my example of how you could really, 
how you could use these tools to make it for your benefit. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. Okay, so there we go. I think we are done with everything that I had to show you today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I was clear enough with all this. I mean, for some, sound editing could be really difficult and I try to explain as much as I can, as clear as I can, and I really hope that you've learned something from today. So please, let me know in the comments below what kinds of videos you want to see in the future and Head over to my channel if you want to watch other videos that I've made, uh, tutorials, edits, trailers or anything else. So just go ahead and watch whatever you like to see. Thank you.